Yuri here in my lords and ladies. It's me again, your royal peasant Hapuki, and today we'll talk about the newest feature in March Vampires, the Animal Companions. Lily, what do you call a camel at the North Pole? What? Lost. Oh, come on, the camera is working. You have to laugh at my jokes now. Ha ha ha. Okay, then you tell them about the animals. Greetings, my lords and ladies. I'm so hyped about this new feature. The new what? The feature. I can't hear you. What? Feature! 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 No! Feature! Calm down! I'm talking about our newest feature, the animal companions. And obviously, I have some experience with wild animals because I'm working with these guys. <coughs> Seriously now, with the introduction of the animal companions, we are adding 13 unique animals in the game. You can see all of them in your menagerie, which is accessed through the brand new button at the bottom of your screen, right between the profile and lottery buttons. The menagerie is unlocked at castle level 9. I hate to admit it, but she's right. There are three general types of animals, depending on their trait activity. Type 1 are the hunting animals. Those are the greyhound, the grey wolf, the leopard and the golden eagle. You will be wise to acquire at least one of the hunting animals first, because the hunting animals are used to collect food for all of your animals. Type 2 are the assist trait animals. They are the donkey, the tavern cat and the black bull. The assist animals can be assigned to some of your city buildings and boost their productivity. And type 3 are my personal favorite, the March trade animals. They are the elephant, the camel, the Andalusian horse, the brown bear and the wild warhawk and the African lion. The March trade animals can be sent to march along with your army and assist you in battle or gathering resources. It's good to mention that the camel is a very special animal companion because it's the only pet that can help you gather resources. Yeah, she's a real gold digger. Is this why I like her so much? Okay, okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. Tell them about the animal licenses. Why are you bully me? So, the animal licenses are a special new currency that is used to unlock new animals or give more daily actions to the animals you have already unlocked. You can obtain animal licenses from various sources, but for now keep an eye on the calendar rewards and make sure to do your daily quests because their milestone rewards will grant you a license chest every day. In addition, if you are a new player, you can gain 20 common licenses from the perseverance rewards. And there is also this secret that I'm probably not supposed to share with you, but hey, I'm famous now, they can't fire me. So, as far as I know, a new community challenge is coming up very soon on the official March of Empires Facebook page. As the nature of the community challenge implies, you will have to overcome a specific challenge as a community and if you succeed, you will be rewarded with more animal license. You guys just have the best community manager ever. Wait, you are the community manager. And you're a camel. And you are a jackass. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I need a drink or something. Now let me tell you about the animals leveling system. First of all, when you level up your animals, you upgrade their perks and you will also unlock additional perks. Here's an example with my favorite animal, the donkey. As I mentioned, the donkey is an assist animal and it can be assigned to your lumber mill. The initial perk of the donkey is to instantly produce some amount of wood at the end of the assignment. At level 1, when the donkey's assignment is complete, it will instantly produce 50,000 additional wood. Each time you level up your donkey, this amount will be increased and at maximum level of 25, the donkey will produce 700,000 wood. I love you donkey! You are a donkey! Yes, I am. The donkey has two more amazing perks in addition to its lovely voice and huge ears. The first additional perk is unlocked at donkey level 7 and it gives you bonus wood income. The second perk is unlocked at donkey level 15 and it gives you bonus wood mine gathering speed. Let's take a look at another animal. I know how much you like your violence, so let's check out the strongest marching animal, the African lion. 
As I said, the marching animals can be sent to march along with your army and assist you in battle or gathering. The initial perk of the lion is to deal damage to all ranged squads equal to 6% of their total health at the beginning of the battle. Ouch. At level 25, your lion will deal damage to all ranged squads equal to 21% of their total health. Giga ouch. With all that said, I think you get the general idea. All animal companions have specific and useful perks. It is up to you to utilize their maximum potential and use them correctly. So far so good, but what my donkey friend forgot to tell you is that by leveling up your animals, you will also level up your menagerie. Each level of the menagerie will give you additional daily actions for your pets, additional experience points upon use or additional food when you send your animals to hunt. I didn't forget. I was saving the best for last. As the camel said, holy march, it's a talking camel. Back on the topic. <laughs> In order to level up your animals, you need to train them. Animal training requires a few resources. First are the experience points. You get those by simply using your animal. In addition to filling the XP bar, you also need to have the required amount of food. Provided you got all of these, you can attempt to train and level up your animal. Your chance to succeed is exactly <laughs> However, if you want to increase that chance, you can always use exotic foods. Yummy! Now, if you are a hardcore peasant and you fail to train your animal with all available attempts, then the game will feel sorry for you and your next attempt will be with 100% chance of success. So my advice to you is just don't be a peasant. It's just painful. That's it for today's video, my lords and ladies. Let us know in the comments which is your favorite animal companion. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the many new videos we'll be making for you very soon. Until we meet again, stay healthy and march on for greatness.